Hi, I just want to take a couple seconds and show you a little bit more about dungeon tape itself. I've got a battle map here, so let's put some walls down. Alright, so first I just want to reiterate how easy dungeon tape is to clean up. So this is a map I made for the first Happy Little Dungeons. And as you can see, the tape just peels right up and there's no sticky residue. It's easy to go, which you may not be able to see. I'll fill it over here. There, see? Comes right up, there's nothing left on the map. And this is just your standard vinyl uh, whisk dice kind of vinyl map. One thing to think about is I always like to put the wall down first and then put the doors and window stickers over it. Uh, that way it makes cleanup a lot easier. You see I just kind of peel the wall and everything comes up at once. Super easy, super quick. Alright, so let's put some walls down. Uh, first, about the tape itself, it comes in these little cardboard boxes. Um, whenever you first get it, you can take the roll out, unpackage it, and then put it back in the box with the tape coming out of this little window acts as a little dispenser or holder. Um, it dispenses, you can't really tear off of it, but it, it's nice for uh, keeping everything kind of clean. So, start off with the stone wall tape. Uh, you can kind of see it here. I have designed this in a way to where it, it is very, reads very clearly uh, across the table. I wanted to go with a solid black as opposed to a gray or a brown so that uh, everyone, even looking from far away, can see that, like, the delineation between like, wall and not wall, basically. Where does the hallway end? Um, dungeon tape is super easy to do in uh, straight lines. Uh, if you're looking to reuse it, like, peel it up and readjust it between sessions, I would suggest keeping the runs down, like, uh, below a foot. The longer the runs, it kind of gets harder to peel back up uh, as the tape curls in on itself. but. It's no big deal. Hopefully this is affordable enough to where you don't have to worry about that too much. Um, the other tape I currently have made is this, what I call a cave wall slash dungeon. Uh, it's very stony. And again, it's made black so it kind of stands out against. I've seen this used both with the lighter side uh, where the players are and the darker side. I think it's interesting both ways. They kind of lend a different atmosphere to the map, whether it's like a really coarse rocky wall or if it's you know clean cut kind of dwarven mine type of thing. Um, anyway these since they are underground are more often going to be curved and I just wanted to talk a little bit about that. Um, you can't get super uh, smooth curves like you can't get radiuses with tape but what you can do is kind of go to a point put your finger down and then twist it and then pull it and stick it down kind of rub it down and then in that way going both directions you can get a lot of articulation in the dungeon walls without having to kind of cut and paste back over um, really brings in kind of the underground feel to whatever map you're making um, and that's about it the tape is uh, it's basically a thin masking tip uh, printed on top, uh, easy to tear, easy to cut, um, easy to pull up, doesn't leave any residue on laminate or vinyl maps. Uh, I haven't tested on others, but it's very low stick. Um, the stickers as well, both the tape and the stickers are made to be drawn on, so if your map calls for a wall, whether it's a dungeon or a stone wall, but with like bones all over it, some skulls, feel free to draw skulls all over it. This stuff is begging to be a little more creepy for dungeons. That's it. I'm Joshua Cade. Thanks for watching uh, this short explanation video. All right. Bye.